Uh, good morning, y'all. Uh, see, I'm here. I finished this knife up last night and just happens to have uh, optimal lighting conditions today in my uh, kitchen that is not used for, yeah, you get it, my dinner table, right? Shit. But yeah, that's cool. It's my knife table. This fucking wood background is recognized by so many people. <laughs> Even my eBay auctions. People see that wood and they're like, oh yeah, that's what it is. All right, so this is uh, 169 thick, if I recall correctly, at the spine. Chad Nichols stainless Damascus in the uh, ladder pattern. I like the ladder pattern because you get this cool... Um, uh, effect of light playing and see that see how the lines are widening and moving you know crossing and then yeah see mm -hmm. it's a cool little optical illusion a little light play but i like this uh, ladder pattern for that reason so these handles are um, Treeman knives scales for their larger fixed blades. I modified it by grinding off the top card and doing a little bit of um, um, scotch bright work rounding this area here. I also cut into the rear, the pommel area of the scales to allow for a lanyard hole. Mm -hmm. But yeah, very comfy in the hand. I like this scale pattern a lot. I use it on my personal and other knives, and other people like it a lot, so fuck it. And it works great. I'll stick with it. Okay, um, well, more about this knife. This is a compound grind, 8 inch hollow ground on a, or hollow ground on an 8 inch wheel, flat ground point. The point, uh, that, that geometry of the point, this grind here extends all the way to the end here. Also a flat ground swedge, which is sharpened with a whole zero bevel grind type of a secondary bevel to it. So the sharpening is done here and then on this bevel here. So it preserves the aesthetics of this front side, the grind side. Give you a little shot of how it looks. Mm-hmm little sticky things because I put frog lube on it last night so it's got little bits of fairy dust all over it fairy dust and kitty hairs this knife is beautiful um, if it wasn't for the fact that it was that it's smaller than what I usually carry I would want to carry this knife and keep it but that's cool somebody else is gonna get to enjoy this Hopefully they carry and use it too. Okay, measurements. So um, from sharpened length, we've got five and a quarter sharpened length. To the scale, we got, I don't know, five and three quarter inch. Sharpened length of swedge is two inches exactly. Mm -hmm. so, uh, total length from tip to uh, butt is 10 and 7 eighths. Okay, just to cut here over. 10 and 15 sixteenths. Oh yeah, the hardness is 59 RC with cryo. Point of balance is right here a little aft of um, the trigger finger but just behind the guard not bad for a knife of its size point of balance or I mean uh, weight that's the next thing weight come on oh hello to you too were you sleeping 10.046 ounces yes a oh, four five I stand corrected all right, <clears throat> so um, <clears throat> this is a for fun project, meaning it was not built for anybody, and it was built totally, you know, just uh, out of my uh, my. Hmm, let's see how that looks. Kind of a uh, approach to knife making, <clears throat> but I am very happy with it.
beautiful grinds, beautiful etch, great steel. I think I paid like $250 for this bar of steel. So I'm probably going to be, uh, um, well, I'd say this. If somebody ordered this knife and built and had it built, had me build it to their needs, I would be charging more because um, for fun projects, if I fuck up a piece of steel, I mean, as in I don't get the knife exactly the way I wanted it to and I have to make changes or I completely fucking shit can it, you know, the only person that's going to be out the money is me. But if it was if this was custom orders, say somebody paid me money to build this, I would be charging them at least $250 for the bar of steel. Okay, I'm going to charge you double that just for the materials because if I fuck it up, I want to have a second shot at it without having to go out of pocket and go in debt on a build that somebody is paying me to build. So I'm selling this for 500 and I think that's more than generous because the amount of work that I put in and all. But yeah, if I was to build this for a custom order, it would be more than 500 yeah, that's why my for fun projects are a real bargain as far as custom knives. If you buy one that I've made just because I wanted to make it for fun, then you're going to get a major uh, um, break in price as for, instead of something that you have to build that I have to build to your specs. I hope that all makes sense. All right, cool. As always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua, God bless. Later.